and you would audit it in typical fashion. You would send out confirmations to confirm the amounts owed and the lease terms and things like that. And I had done that process and everything went fine. The very few exceptions we had were resolved. Now it's about two weeks before earnings release and I'm standing having a conversation with the accounts payable clerk. It's five o'clock, she's getting ready to go home. And I casually look down at the desk of the gal who manages the lease contracts receivable. She's not there. But on her desk is a file, manila folder. And on that folder, it has only one word. It says complaints. And it bothered me. The whole time I'm having this conversation, I kept looking at that file. It was a rather thick file, too, a couple inches thick. And all it said was complaints. So I went back to my cubicle, obviously auditors working after hours, earnings deadlines, trying to get the audit done so the company can release earnings in a timely fashion. And it just bothered me. I had done the circularization I had no problems, and here's this huge file that says complaints. Maybe it's, it's something else, but I, I just had to investigate it further. So I did the only thing that a good auditor would do. I went back and stole the file. <laughs> um, no, see, now you're going to call ethics on me. I didn't, I didn't steal the file. All the files were laying on the desk. Of course, they're available to the auditors. We had permission. I merely took it back to my cubicle to peruse it. And as I opened it up, I saw letter after letter after letter of customers complaining about the alarm equipment, the service, the fact they were getting double billed, and almost to a T, every one of these requests ended with saying, I've had it with you people, take out my alarm system. Now, that's a unique accounting event because when you take out the alarm system, you no longer have the guarantee of that revenue stream and you have to write off that asset. And that's a pretty big write-off. So I looked for these write-offs, I, I didn't see them. And I kept thinking, you know, if there are hundreds of these complaint letters, and I did the circularization of the entire lease contract receivable file for the thousands of customers they had, if there was a god of statistical sampling, you would think that I would have picked one of those disgruntled customers. Just one. And I didn't. Well, as I said, we don't have time to go into the entire case and how the investigation ensued. Suffice it to say that uh, I was able to uncover massive fraud uh, in time. The firm did not release our opinion. Earnings was delayed. We completed the investigation. The firm withdrew. In fact, the firm withdrew its uh, prior opinion. This was a second-year audit. All that was in time, and we're all very thankful.